It's September 23rd, 2017 here in Michigan, and it is very hot out. The farmers are harvesting the soybeans, and I'm gonna check out my weather app from WT Forecast. It's 91 degrees, which is almost like a record. The other day it was 94, which tied the record. It says the weather is like a friggin' donkey punch to the head. That's how hot it is here in Michigan. All right, I have the DJI Mavic Pro drone. Let's take a close up look at what they're doing over there. So I was shopping at Home Depot the other day and I walked by and I saw this right here. The Goodyear 50 foot heavy duty flex hose, high performance, lead free, drinking water safe. That is a game changer right there. I have owned an RV, a fifth wheel camper for several years and being able to have a hose that's like this size right here that you can store and have it drinking water safe that's a game changer. So that's why I picked this up. I think it's around 32, 33 bucks. Maximum kink resistance. I read the reviews. We'll see about that. Has 400 PSI rating, compact, easy to store, crush proof, cup lanes. That looks like it's steel right there. Okay, that's cool. But I did see this on Amazon under Swan. I didn't see it under Goodyear. Home Depot, I did. Home Depot, I have to get my phone out to give you some stats. And then I looked at the ratings of it. And I, after looking at the ratings, I thought, you know, I'm not, I'm just gonna return it. I'm not gonna make a video on it. But I'm kind of after the perfect garden hose. And I've had the Zero G by the Techner company. And I really like that. I've had that now for the second year. And it's worked awesome. On Home Depot, 128 reviews. So far, a 1.3 star rating out of five. And under the Swan Hose name on Amazon, has a 2.5 out of five stars with four reviews. So I've seen some things make me a little nervous about this, but before I really listen to what they have to say, I think it'd just be fair for me to give you an honest review and test it out and take it out of the box. So let's do that. One thing I wanna say is on my channel, I try not to review things that I don't give a thumbs up to. I typically do a lot of research first before agreeing to do it. For the garden hoses, I've tried several different types because there's so many hybrid hoses out there and I'm kinda of into gardening and outdoor things. I want to probably just give you the full gamut of what's available out there. So I've tried the pocket hose as seen on TV and after like a week or two it failed. It's really cool the way you turn it off and the hose shrinks. It's a pretty amazing concept but it just doesn't last. So the Zero G hose so far has been the top winner for me. But when I saw the Goodyear name, I had to try it out. So let's open it up, take a look. Okay, here it is, 50 foot hose. Okay, it's doubled up. The ends, nice heavy duty metal. So the ends are a definite plus. They're not plastic like some of the other ones. There is a little bit of, I don't know if you can see that right there, a little bit of fiber sticking out, but as long as it doesn't leak, we're good. Can you hear that? That's just like a really nice, solid connection right there. I like that metal sound. It looks cool. These are heavy. All right, so when you store it, I believe the instructions are you plug that end, turn the water on to this end, fill it up, coil it, shut the water off, let the water out, let it all drain, and then you're good to go. So yeah, it definitely feels like flat rubber in there. It's not like the uh, pocket hose where it's like a, just like a tube in there that feels like a slingshot tube. This feels more like flat rubber right there that's uh, rather robust. Now it's fully connected. 
I do have good water pressure, but so far, if you look on the ground right here, you'll see that coiled up area right there isn't letting the water through. So like people have said this kind of, it tends to kink a little bit. So I think that's one of the, it's starting to dribble a little bit. One of the issues with the hose, you have to probably just like really spread it out to make it work. All right, so now I've walked away about 30 feet and this thing is kinked in like 10 spots. So <laughs> looks like it's gonna take a little bit of work to get the water to come out like it should properly. All right, I've been working on it for a few minutes. That's all the water pressure so far. I think somebody said it's a kink nightmare and now I know what they're saying. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about. So I haven't really even, just take a look at that. So this is what the situation looks like. So I'm gonna spend a few minutes getting it untangled there, there, there. So I think that's about five kinks to take out. I'll be right back. I'm getting there. Okay, worked on it for a few minutes. Still, that's the water pressure that's coming out. Ah, here we go. Okay, now. <laughs> I think all the kinks are out. So I do have good water pressure, which, which is weird right here. It's 90 some degrees out. And this is very stiff. And it's relatively flat. I don't know if you can see that. You would think in this kind of weather that would like really uh, round out and not be so flat. So I think if we're more round and open like a regular garden hose. You might get a little more pressure. All right, so this is one other thing I'm a little bit concerned about. This thing is completely wet. All right, yeah, see there, doesn't take much to kink it. That's what people are complaining about. So this isn't really made to even be bent. It's, this thing has to stay completely straight. Even that much right there. Look at that. I'm trying to be as open and unbiased as possible. But I'm seeing why people are returning it. Unfortunately, the inside is more, kind of like hard plastic it feels like than rubber. It should give a little more. So my honest review of the Goodyear hose is they probably just need to go back to the drawing board and make the inner components a little bit different so it doesn't kink so much. And otherwise, 400 PSI and drinking water quality and something that can be stored nice and easy in something like this for 50 foot, that's awesome. All right, friends, so I hope you find the video review interesting and informative. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time. If you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right. So please click on those. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. If you wanna see what I'm up to throughout the week, please connect me on Twitter and Instagram. Enjoy.